We're back with another installment of Naruto Storm Connections. This is my Byron Naruto character guide. I'm probably mispronouncing Byron mode. Don't even worry about it. What you should be worrying about is how much of a menace this Byron Naruto is. Of course, guys, as always, in my character guides, I'm going to be going over, um, you know, ninjutsu cancels, item cancellations, um, grab setups, and, of course, ultimate jutsu cancels, as well as awakening tips. Let's get right into the video. I want to talk about items first. He has the defense down tag. That's going to be allowing you to do some extra damage because it is going to lower the defense of your opponent. He also has the attack pill. Okay, um, the attack pill, of course, again, is going to be helping you out, dish out some extra damage. Very, very useful. You know, you're in the middle of battle. You're a little hungry. You can also throw the meatball. And uh, if you're lucky, the opponent will try to eat it and it will explode in his mouth. Fantastic. Um, so another thing that I actually want to go ahead and point out um, is Naruto's grab. I'm talking about grab setups right now. Um, Byron Naruto uh, grab does have some range, which uh, possibly means that on some instances you're going to be able to sub, um, you know, instantly from a combo, and you're going to be able to go for the grab. Of course, it is a little bit slow, but I do want to point that out. His grab does have some good range. I really do like it. On top of all that, since Naruto and Kawaki do have an ultimate um, jutsu secret technique, whatever it's called nowadays, um, you guys can go ahead and use Kawaki's first ninjutsu and go for a grab right after. That's another grab setup that you have for you. Of course, if you're running pain as a support, you can use the universal pool and you can take it straight into a grab, okay? So let's actually go ahead and go over uh, grab setups regarding the uh, combos. So eight hits into the neutral combo. As soon as Naruto teleports behind the opponent, you are going to be able to go for a grab setup. If you do it a little bit too late, you're going to do it 13 hits into the neutral. All right, eight hits. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the grab. The secret to going for the grab when it comes down to, you know, being eight hits into the neutral combo is as soon as Naruto teleports, you want to go ahead and spam that grab. 13 hits into the neutral combo, you guys can also go for a grab, you guys already saw that. 15 hits into the neutral combo, if you time it correctly, you can actually go for another grab. That is a safe grab setup, guys. Do want to point that out, a total of 21 damage, which is actually pretty good. Um, uh, he does have another grab setup also, 10 hits into the down combo. And it is also a safe grab setup. After he does the little cha-cha slide, we're going to go for the grab. Pretty efficient. I want to go ahead and cover his ninjutsus, right? So, of course, in Storm Connections, we have two ninjutsus. The first one that I want to go over is the Tail Beast Cannon Attack, which is a ranged ninjutsu. This is what makes Byron Naruto such a threat. Not only does he have a close range ninjutsu, but he can also spam this from, like, you know, distances. So definitely make sure that you guys are using the Tail Beast Cannon Attack if you guys are playing a little bit defensively. If your opponent has that habit of constantly like chakra dashing towards you without even guarding, definitely take advantage of that. Another thing that we want to take advantage of, of course, is the Massive Rasengan. I'm actually going to do Almighty Push, and then I'm going to go for Massive Rasengan. And I'm going to hit the Massive Rasengan when the opponent is on the ground. That's another really good thing that Byron Naruto has going for him, right? The Massive Rasengan is really, really, really annoying. When you're pinned down on the ground, you can actually get hit by it. When you um, call him in as a support, Naruto will also be able to do the Massive Rasengan from the air, which can actually save you in a lot of sticky situations. As you guys can see right there, I did an air combo into, of course, the Massive Rasengan as well. Okay, so definitely make sure that you guys are going um, for the Massive Rasengan whenever you guys can and whenever the opponent is on the ground. Another thing I like about Massive Rasengan, of course, is the you know good amount of range that it has, okay? Let's go over ninjutsu cancels. Exactly 8 hits into the neutral combo. You guys can go for a massive Rasengan. And you guys can also do a tail beast cannon. You know, after 8 hits in. If you guys time it wrong, the opponent will be able to guard, however. So, that one is a little bit tricky. Another thing that you can do 8 hits into the uh, neutral combo is go for an ultimate jutsu cancel. As you guys can see. It is going to have to be an S3 ultimate jutsu cancel. What that means is that, you know, you have to hit 8 hits into a neutral combo and then move on to the side. Um, and then, you know, activate your ultimate jutsu cancel. I'm going to make a tutorial, by the way, on 
um, S3 Ultimate Jutsu cancels and S4 Ultimate Jutsu cancels because those are some term terms that some players might not be too familiar with. But yeah, Ultimate Jutsu cancel 8 hits in. Um, 13 hits into the neutral combo. You guys can also go for a massive Rasengan as well as of course a Tail Beast Cannon. And you can also go for an Ultimate Jutsu Cancel. 13 hits into the neutral combo. Ultimate Jutsu Cancel. Like so. So the most important thing when it comes down to the Ultimate Jutsu Cancel 13 hits after Naruto does his rotation is that you guys need to be very very precise with the timing. If you're not precise with the timing you're not going to be able to land this ultimate jutsu cancel. 15 hits into the neutral combo, you guys can land um, the tail beast cannon attack and also the massive Rasengan. I'm going to go ahead and display it for you guys, of course. There we go, 15 hits and we do the massive Rasengan. Now, you can also do a massive Rasengan, a Ninjutsu 1 or a Ninjutsu 2 cancel with, you know, the down combo. So 10 hits into the down combo when Naruto does the little cha-cha slide, you guys can go for a massive Rasengan. 10 hits into the down combo, you guys can also do a Tail Beast Cannon attack. Make sure that you guys time it well because the opponent might uh, be able to guard it if you don't uh, pull it off at the right time. And that's pretty much it when it comes down to ninjutsu cancels and ultimate jutsu cancels for Byron Naruto. I want to go over um, awakening tactics now. When it comes down to awakenings, there's not really a lot to say usually with characters. And the same thing applies to Byron Naruto. I would have to say that if there's one thing that I can let you know about his awakening is his grab. His grab has massive range. And on top of all that, it's going to be doing a total of 18 damage. That's a lot of damage. The reason why that's a lot of damage is because if I were to do the neutral combo with Byron Naruto, I'm going to be doing a total of 22 damage. Sure, 18, 22, you know, big difference. It's better to go for the whole neutral combo, but sometimes you won't be able to go for the full neutral combo, right? Because maybe the opponent is guarding, which is why, again, my biggest tip with Byron Naruto is to make sure that when you're in awakening go ahead and go for that grab because that grab is going to be doing some massive damage and as you guys can see the range on this thing is huge it's also really really fast as well now eight hits into the neutral combo we're actually going to be able to go ahead and be able to do a ninjutsu cancel like so right here pretty nice pretty nice and then on top of all that um 10 hits into the neutral combo we're also going to be able to go for a ninjutsu cancel okay so that one was eight hits in and there we go so basically as soon as naruto um hits him with his kick uh before the 10th hit you guys want to go ahead and use the uh, Rasengan. It's going to be a total of 28 damage. I believe an ultimate juice with 24 damage. So awakening Byron Naruto is definitely not a joke. You can definitely pull off massive damage. Now, the biggest problem with this awakening is that keep in mind when your Byron Naruto uh, awakening does run out, you are going to be vulnerable for a total of up to 10 seconds, I believe. And of course, the opponent is going to be able to do some massive damage on you. So if you go into Awakening with Byron Naruto, you better be ready to do some massive damage. Otherwise, you're going to get destroyed. And that's pretty much it. When it comes down to my Byron Naruto character guide, check out the character guide playlist for connections in the description. I'm going to take my time pulling out these character guides because I do want to focus on quality. But of course, chances are that I've covered a character in the character guide playlist. Also, make sure that you guys um, tell me which character you guys want me to cover next piece. 